What's up guys, I'm Abid Yogaswara Today we're going to do a little bit of prediction for the upcoming fight this weekend Between David Kira and Giorgio Petrosian We'll start from the stats first David Kiria from Georgia 35 wins, 17 losses Height 1.70 meters 70 kilogram in weight 178 centimeters in their reach Orthodox stances He He won Glory, thir Glory third 2012 Middleweight tournament champion And many other athlete in Kyokushin Karate While on the other hand We got Giorgio Petrosian The doctor He's from Italy He got 100 He got 100 Two wins, two losses, two draws, two no contest. His height is 1.78 centimeters, 70 kilograms, 185 centimeters in reach. He's a southpaw. He was the K1 Max Grand Prix World Champion from 2009 until 2010. Glory light lightweight uh, tournament champion at the on 2012 interesting fight from two OG fighters they've been in the fight game since forever well since around the 2000 era for Giorgio Petrosian I have been following him since back since uh, his K1 match days back then you know, kickboxing was the shit and I've always root for a guy, Giorgio Petrosian, a very high skilled fighter, a very high regarded fighter, a very dangerous veteran in the game, going against David Kiria, who's also a very strong veteran, very aggressive, um, very explosive fighter. He got so many on his arsenal. So let's go to the fight and then I'm going to point out some of the points of their winnings. Let's start off with David Kiria's fight. Uh, David Kiria's last fight. And we'll make real quick judgment of things that he is very strong with and the things that may cost him the fight. This is Kunlun. Um, both of them will be fighting uh, on one championship this weekend on Octagon. Let's keep that in mind. Last fight. Let's get it. If you're not ambidextrous 100%, well, sometimes you're a shark swimming on land. Because you, you can't be a shark on land. Oh, I see. Right, I can. That's science. I'm a scientist. Good As a warm up rolling. round yeah, for exactly. David Kiria. David Kiria oh, really man, relies know. on. Yeah. Has high guard or shell guard. He is very strong and he is very tough. He would have to jump. Very good chin. Oh, find a step ladder. More than his toughness, he is also a very explosive fighter. He is. A, he have a very good hand. Very explosive hooks, like you see over there. Yeah, Benmo also, if you guys... Especially going against uh, on again, this trying, fight that, to have a savage, that he fought. Savage, you know, damage filled he go against a very big yeah, so fighter, very hard from ben Mo du all Dutch fighter as well. Power that Kiri, yeah, power that Kiri, you can see here, correct. even though again, so he may... Beckett in. Right. And be outpointed a little bit. The, again, He's like able said, to through his jab, crunch through it and through a hard that, punch and hard counters it's just arm. on his own. Like, uh, it's like fishing. Even fr it's from the brudge of right. hard punches that he received. But good scoring though for Ben Mo. Yeah. Pretty good punches. Interesting. <clears throat> Uppercut Especially attack when we're coming to the last 30 seconds of the first round because I feel like defeat hasn't given Very good overhand, sure very good explosiveness. L in this round it's very uh, dangerous for opponents to go at him. Sure. He's using his shell defense 
as a measure for his opponent to come right hand there at him. He's relatively shorter right than most of, of his opponent. So he is perfecting his, his, his shell defense for his opponent to go or letting his opponent be extra aggressive so he he could catch them halfway. Second round now. David Kira is well warmed up. We start off this. He is much more ready for his bridge of punches. Very good body shot. See how he start to really mark his punches with his shell, with his shell defense. You know, in the first bout of the evening, we saw Tuanov try and move around the ring. This fight, we see none of that at all. They're just no. stuck there like glue in the center of the ring. Because I think the beat is still. He has a really good shell defense and solid left body shot that echoed around this arena. Hard strikes to counter like his said, opponent with. Movement. Now it's just forward backward. He's playing like a tie game. And he's also a very durable fighter. He's hunting for that left hook to the body, and he's found it twice already. That that makes him a difficult problem to down, have. You know? To to guys, to go against. You see the pop. You know? you just Good go there from very hard on his opponent, taking all his, their their Benmo, shots. But none of them, I feel like, actually landed on target. They all. How about up. this, Ben Moe is I get the, the judges will take these into oh. consideration. Another big one. Solid right hand there from the Georgian. On oh, a left hook, did deflect off the glove though of Ben Moe. Benmo again, huge trunk of a body, long arms and then the long legs, and I think again that defeat has probably been taking a lot of a uh, lot of notes. I'm sure he's been Polskin, no joke, internationally known. Oh, and again, very great good side step. Stuck it and he moved, and now he's back oh, in there. Beautiful great uppercut. uppercut. What I see here and him, <laughs> he may be a little Kyrie's bit imbalanced when round. he strikes. You know what I think Ben Mo has to do now, John, is Regardless his legs. strong yeah, strikes. Keep Kyrie away from you, son. He always really put his whole power in his punches and, back to what and kicks. More in the first round, even but again, that was the, the same of, uh, of Im imperfection still was where is what was, uh, may little, little makes couple. him a very strong fighter he just Final put his heart on his sleeve around, in my opinion. and go hard yeah, the hawk is on his blown. opponents as he comes with another combination that finishes with a kick end productive, of round two productive work there from the georgian it has not really pedaled he might be tiring himself down and I, uh, he was producing when he left going on the third round Let's see how he develops. These fighters will advance to the semifinals, and one of these fighters, John, goes home disappointed. Indeed. He starts a little bit slow on this fight, this but slowly KLF building up. KG World Championship Very good body three. shot. Very good low Here. to the inside. China. Curious quick. Still maintaining that solid that one. defense Did so for himself. Round, connected a few times. Already has in the third round. Dishing back, back. Ben Mo, good left kick against that with same more point. volume. Ben Mo's right side of the body is starting to get battered. He's and much more. Again, if he if he creeps one of those through, it's we're seeing lights out. Get the man up He's putting more initiative oh, on the last round. From Kirian, ben Mo was of course, able to since uh, no. again, nothing much with the legs from Ben This Mo. is the last He's round. Uh, yeah, it's surprising me too. And, I, and with the knees, He's really putting his he points much. Charging keeping everything also. very tight on him Deveet, Deveet, I'm some may slip right but now. it's not and as effective I'm big with the hands and the way that he's going in with and the he's hands, keeping he's it a hundred guard, but he's, he's keeping himself the there under 90 seconds to go keeping it dirty Good right hand again there sapping a lot of Kyrian. energy from his what opponent been a in but this fight really so far. He's made his throwing right, hands right hand there since Kyrian he is the uh, he's made it his fight, John. Sure. Yes, he's yes. made Ben Moe come into then his world. The and two. he's dominated. He's yeah. dominated. He implemented the game plan, I think, in the Keeping first himself ad advancing in position, oh, oh. Nice making ball. sure. Yeah, give ben Moe a false sense of security in that first you know, round. He's on, he's, he's on his shooting range. 
Hustling. He's Let on his they got it. power Let range. Come in. Venus flytrap. H for hawk. H for hustle. Thus. Again, so making it right riskier, but also making it very oh, entertaining. But stone from Kyria right now. Since Fred Moore wobbling back. He is in the. He have the shorter hand. So much pressure right now. It benefits him much up, more he, keeping he, I don't know if the fight on the through, phone. But there's been a couple of these that even if they've landed left on the left, left hand, he's on DLX right now, John. Yeah. Right hand again and a left. Oh, he's Bet wobbling. Oh, and there he and goes. And he's down. Is that lights out? There's a pillow. Where, somebody get his a pillow. power wins his day. Oh my gosh. He won the that fight with awesome his man. explosive power. He's not getting up. That's it. And it's Kyria done. Going through has just become this the favorite last to win the tournament this year, in my opinion. This fight John coming up. Oh. So that's the fight between David Kiria and his last opponent on Kunlun, China. And we're going to review uh, Petrosian's last fight in one championship against Samisana before this fight again all right first round let's go One. Georgia Petrosha this is for the biggest prize purse in kickboxing history in the country where modern kickboxing was founded in the 1960s I was talking to team Petrosha and they say he loves to compete against taller go. opponents same as David Kiria you know but he just likes the as a veteran uh, Petrosian Start out really measuring his opponent, but from what we can see here, he is much more fluid with his strikes. He's much more fluid with his defense. His shell is much more solid. He incorporates blocking, leaning, and you know, as he is the southpaw. He's putting he's an angle. He's giving strong angles. Let's go back to that one. Again, landed by Petrosian. We talk about the power of Semi Sem. See how he uh, consistently move and shift, where he's moving away from his uh, opponent and. Consistently check, keeping his chin tucked in, checking with his uh, lead hand, always ready, always probing, always probing, you know, finding out any signal, uh, going his aggressive opponent. And he counters as soon as, won by as he got struck. One thing I tell you though about Jordan Petrosian, in a lot of his fight, if you follow him, you can see he's always ha have this strong stance. He he stepped back a lot, but he doesn't really run away from it. He's always have he's keeping everything balanced. He's keeping everything measured. He's always ready to shoot. He's almost never lose sight of his opponent. He's always staying there where he is hundred percent safe, uh, hundred percent able to shoot his shots. That's why they call him the doctor. He's just have that very strong intuition in the ring. He have a very good eyes. You have a very good intuition of what is happening all the time. And the names are the strengths of Semi Sena, the boxing work of Petrosian. Certainly the best boxer in kickboxing. You see there from that Jeff slip. Nice and tight. Three punch combination for it's not that he is an active and only rely on his defense. He's also Shana. very active with his strikes. He's good. Right while Shuffle he is filling out Those his opponent in the first the round. Very good. Alright, going in second round. Let's see how he develops through the rounds. 
but then he's stepping off to the right. What that does, it puts him in perfect position to throw the left hand, but it also helps him avoid the retaliation. As his opponent's getting Asana. much more he active, he's also he's getting more active. Now with his hand here in the second throwing more combinations, initiating more strikes, and also using that active defense from strike kick. He's, he's picking angles he is moving much more faster he's able to read his opponents much better as you see here he certainly starts to add a little bit more pressure for his opponents in the second round good jab he could shoot an apple off your head with, with that extra jab. caution. See, that's called ring generalship right there. That's just beautiful how he's able to slip, um, shift to his side, and then pressure as his opponent lost his balance. Nice straight left hand. And he's more active, demanding much more respect for his opponent, from his opponent. After he finished his combinations, he's picking an angle. Also thing at the same time, he's very tough. He's very tough. Picking another angle. He's stepping with his softball, now trapping his opponent against the cage. Oh, you can't catch. He's never off his defense. He's consistently moving. His choice of strike is very good. That's an incredible footwork and right I there. think Look his power is quite middle. underrated because hand. we know he's Sana's very precise job, really with his strikes. Shots, people forget he knocks people out but a big during the K1 days. He do Sana's knock a people out. Alright, third round. Third round, guys. Third round. He maintains that control. This is this what I really like on this one. Right. You can tell, you can sense the frustration on his opponent. Of course you, but Toshin, other than keeping himself clean, keeping himself nicely defended, He's also throwing strikes and start modifying his strikes accordingly. You start to really utilize short punches against his uh, aggressive opponent who is throwing bigger hooks. As he's coming in, he's throwing more knees, more short hooks, and getting, getting more points. Because Sami Sana is no joke. He's a strong fighter. He's he has a good record as well. He's been here in a while. But going against Troshan, you're not having a good day. <laughs> you're not gonna have a good day going with him. You gotta be hundred percent. Or you have to really knock him out. Yeah, he's still catching him with a lot of strikes. Oh, man, that's really good. good. Weave and then step outside for him. Do that high guard and then framing himself over there. So he's not able to fully throw his hooks. It's a very fire move to frame. But obviously we see how Petrosian able to use framing combining with blocks, combining with slips, combining with beats on his uh, so balanced and so well put out. It's so seamless. It's difficult to catch him. The master is pretty awesome. Not even using teeth. Go! Final yes, it works. Yes, it works. Of 
final verdict. Um, I will choose Petrosian to win this fight. Uh, more than that, if you guys don't know, Petrosian have fought David Kirill before back in Glory, and I think. He, Petrosian is just too much for David Kiria because of his prodigy, because his techniques, how he's able to nullify super aggressive opponent, how he's able to get in against uh, more timid opponents. It's very difficult to go against or bet against Petrosian. So that's my final verdict. That's Petrosian. Alright. Peace out.